This is where Nick Saban grew up. In Carolina, West Virginia. So this is the uh, the gas station that Coach Saban's dad owned when, when, when Coach Saban was a kid. So then, and this is where he had to work. His dad made him work and do oil changes or gas pump gas, whatever whatever needed to be done, I guess. But and it's pretty cool to sit here and think about Coach Saban pumping somebody's gas there as a little kid, and 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 then now who he is today. And then right around behind the gas station here is the house that Coach Saban lived in as a kid. As you can see, it's a pretty nice house for uh, to be back in the 50s, 60s, whatever it was. But anyway, um, it's pretty, you know, like I said, this is where this is where Coach Saban lived as a kid. He grew up at. So this is Monongah Middle School now, but this was the high school when Coach Saban was, was in high school, and he was actually the quarterback here at Mononga High School. Oh, typical West Virginia mining town. Yeah, it's had uh, mines with miners lived here. All these are mining mountains. There's coal mines all around. Yeah, coal mines. So, a lot of people don't know, but Nick, but Coach Saban, he's actually junior. His dad's name is Nick Saban Senior. So, when I, as I'm talking, you'll hear me refer to. I'm, I'm gonna call him either junior or senior. But anyway. Uh, his dad, Nick Saban Sr., was like a, a pillar of the community in Monongah and, and uh, Fairmont area, which is where, he, which, where Nick Saban, Coach Saban, grew up. Oh, by the way, we are, um, we are headed to the cemetery where Nick Saban Sr., Coach Saban's father, is buried. Uh, just thought it would be a cool thing to see. Anyway, that's where we're headed now. All the articles we read and everything that we, uh, the books and all, it always has something about the cemetery and the, and the location that he's buried in. So I guess we just need to go see. His dad started this 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 youth football league, and and he, um, of course, a lot of the, the kids in this area was was very poor. You know, their, their parents, you know, this is a small coal mining area and not a lot of, you know, wasn't a lot of, you know, good paying jobs and things back in the day when when uh, when Coach Saban was a kid. So his dad actually bought an old bus and basically why he bought that bus and he would go around up and down all these hollers up here in, in northern you know, West Virginia picking these little kids up and take them to football practice or the games or whatever. Um, I, I read something maybe where, I think I read it, or maybe someone in town said, I heard it somewhere, but anyway, that when he, his mom, Coach Saban's mom, said they needed a new sofa, but her dad, his dad, went and bought a bus instead of a sofa, and they basically, so he could get the kids to the football games, but, they, but he, he would be out late at night after football practice carrying all these kids home. So, so I heard you know, this, this old gentleman here in the, in the Fairmont area here telling stories about how he remembered uh, Nick Saban, Coach Saban, riding on that bus every night until about 9, 9.30 at night you know, with his dad carrying all those kids home after football practice. But that was the kind of person he was. He was very influential in this area, and um, he, he, he helped all these kids. And, he, uh, and, of course, I've heard Coach Saban talk a lot of times about how 
his dad is what instilled the work ethics and you know the, the, the willingness to help and do things uh, uh, for, for other people. But obviously Coach Saban, uh, of course obviously he's in a position to do that now, but, but he goes out of his way a lot to help. Your you destination know, is ahead. Famous thing with his, with his uh, Needs Kids Foundation. Okay, so now we're here at the uh, cemetery. Wow, this is gonna be like looking for a needle in a haystack. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, y'all look that way and we'll look this way. This is uh, Nick Saban's dad's tombstone. And this is in a Fairmont, West Virginia. That's another family member. Not sure if that's their, his grandparents or who they, who they are. And we drove all around, looked at all the names, and finally found Nick Saban's dad's tombstone. He noticed the back of them. So it was a big accomplishment to find this. <laughs> and he was like, oh, no, look, there it is. Saving Tombstone. It's like a bridge in Gadsden, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> it does look like a bridge in Gadsden, Alabama. A good story to hear how his dad actually helped all these people was you know, that was one thing he really enjoyed and loved doing. And now obviously, dying at a young age, that was a big blow to this community here. Uh, so, it's a pretty neat story. Of course, me being a big Alabama fan, and, you know, it was pretty surreal to go to the area where Coach Saban grew up and see, you know, the area and the things that, you know, where he grew up and what he had to, to you know, the, the challenges in life and stuff here and these small uh, cold towns in West Virginia. And then to think about how he became who he became. And then again, he still says it's all because of his father, work ethics and the, uh, that his dad instilled in him as a young, as a young kid all the way up until his, his father passed away. Uh, so it, it's just, uh, you know, it's just really neat to, uh, go and, and, and see those the, this area here and um, think about how uh, this area then you got of course obviously coach Saban became the most successful football coach ever and then you got Joe Manchin that's the what well, was the governor of West Virginia now he's a, a, a US senator they both grew up in this same area both became very successful and um, you know and you know, so it's just pretty neat to think about how, you know, it doesn't matter, it just goes to show no matter where you grew up or, or what the challenges are as a kid, you know, there's there's opportunity for you to be what you want, anything you want to be it, with just the per perseverance and, uh, and and the hard work in which obviously that's what Coach Saban instills in his players to this day. It's all about just, just doing what you got to do and being the best you can be at what you're doing. And I think that's what Coach Saban obviously has done, and um, that's what he tries to make his all the players to be as well.